Hello, this is CrazyMan7777 here in a very different location than the last time I made a review. Cannot make a review in the current location because there are people banging on roofs over there and we will not talk about that further. Anyway, we are looking at the booster frame set that Halo Mega Bloks has made, the official one. There was a temporary booster frame set that looks like this that we had a while ago. It was made out of three different other sets, and I'm starting to think that I should take it apart because now I have the actual booster frame. Uh, anyway, this one is significantly smaller and less detailed than the booster frame that we currently have in the background here. And I'm starting to wonder which one is actually the right size because I am almost certain that the booster frame set that Hail Mega Blocks would be making would be the right size, but I also kind of feel like this might have actually been the right size for the booster frame, but I haven't watched Halo Legends in a while and I really don't care all that much. Um, of course, like I said, this one is much more detailed. It has actual stickers on it. Um, there's the ability to turn your different parts of a vehicle. Uh, very cannons are separated from the vehicle and there's this weird thing sticking up that I will explain in a little bit. First we're going to look at the figure. The figure is not in the light of day so we shall fix that. The figure is actually probably one of the coolest figures that you'll ever see. This is the Halo Legends um, Fred figure. It is very, very nice looking, I'll have to say, um, with its white detailing and his silver knives on both sides of his character. Um, he's probably one of the coolest ones that you'll ever see. I feel like if Halo 5 were to actually have a theme, it should have been after these figures. And of course, he's got his little 104, since he's S104, on uh, multiple parts of his Spartan. And yeah, it actually has probably one of the shiniest visors that I've ever used. Uh, the Halo Reach ones, the Halo Reach figures have really shiny visors, and so do these ones, and the Halo 4 visors are just weird. Um, then, we will look straight at his weapon. He actually has a, the second painted, a fully painted Spartan laser that we have seen in a long time. Um course, painted only be meaning that part of it is, uh, part of it is the little red stripe, and then there's another part with a little green on it. That's pretty much the extent that Halo Mega Bloks has ever tried to paint this Spartan laser for some reason. And of course, it's still the Halo 3 Spartan laser, which is perfectly fine because Halo Legends is kind of supposed to be Halo 3. Um, at least it looks like Halo 3. <laughs> Then we will look back at the booster frame, finish up, this is the booster frame set, it has some nice features on it, it has some nice stickers in a few different places. Uh, my new my new idea with the stickers with Halo Mega Block sets is that if you have a bunch of Halo Mega Block sets that have stickers, then you won't notice that they all that some of them have issues. The more sets that you have, the less that an individual set affects your ideas. And this one is a little bit definitely different than the other booster frame. It has a little cannon in the front and a number cannon hole in the front as well. It has a uh, backwards and forwards moving area where the figure can ride like this and then they can stay there by putting this thing in their back, which I'm not going to do because it kind of just, it's hard to do. <laughs> then we have these little t cannons that go up and down that have uh, little turret mounts on them. They are kind of used to stabilize the vehicle. Since this vehicle, of all vehicles, does not seem to have an actual stable bottom, um, unlike most Halo Mega Block sets. So, 
that's just something to keep in mind. Um, it does have rotating, um, moving and rotating wings. So if you want to do some of that, then there you go. I could see this being one a really, really cool set for uh, stop motion if anyone ever figured out how. It just it has such a nice look to it. I could certainly see it in quite a few different areas. And and we look at the back is the boosters themselves on the booster frame. Some nice detailing in here. Boosters look nice. Um, of course, there are boosters on the wings as well. And there are these thingies that I have no idea what the point of them is, but they are very, very aesthetic looking. Very, very aesthetic looking indeed. And that is the booster frame set. I certainly would say that this is one of the coolest sets that I have. It looks very, very nice. It is definitely a great replacement for the old booster frame set. And I would certainly say that it gets a, I don't know if it's a 5 out of 5 or a, a 9 out of 10 because I can't tell which size the set is. So uh, use whichever one of those you want to use and keep that in mind. And then before I end this review, I will give you guys for that those who actually stay to the end of my review to uh, a little bit of information that only really works right now, which is that the Halo Me this Halo Mega Block set in specific, if you really, really want it, is only $10 on Amazon right now. The price has been reduced significantly since the set originally came out. And it did come out a while ago. This is probably one of the first superposable sets that came out, but it's definitely not the least of the superposable sets, in my opinion. And it's definitely worth it for those who really want to boost your frame. Um, I feel like this thing is a little bit weird in my collection, but it certainly goes with the last booster frame that I have. Um, that is pretty much all I have to say. Go check it out on Amazon or wherever. It's probably on sale. I uh, Get it now while you still can if you very much like this set. I'll see you guys next time.